continue as streets remain flooded. Power outages have also been reported around the city. The Dubai International Airport remains in chaos with hundreds of flights either cancelled, delayed or diverted. Schools will remain closed until next week, underscoring the difficulty of the cleanup. You can see it's affect the people, especially the traffic system of the UE. Mostly people, you know, they lost car, you know, they lost their transport services, and we are facing a little difficulty. Chemicals are implanted into clouds to increase rainfall in an environment where water scarcity is a concern. But the UAE's meteorolo meteorology agency says there were no such operations before the storm. يعني لو كان في استمطار ممكن اقول لك ان الاستمطار لا علاقه او شيء يعني لو كان في مسويين احنا استمطار في هالحاله كنت بقول لك لان الاستمطار اكيد بيزيد كميه الـ الـ الامطار اللي التراكميه اللي توصل على الارض بس لان هالحدث لم يتم عمل اي عمليات استمطار فيه فكانت كلها طبيعيه ومثل ما ذكرت سابقا خلال هالشهر افريل هالنوع من الحالات عادي متطرفه ان هي تستوي لان شهر في Experts say the huge rainfall was instead likely exacerbated by climate change. Other states in the Gulf region also hit by torrential rain and floods. At least 19 people have been killed in the Weeks of relentless downpours have caused misery in Nairobi. Rescue teams have managed to move some residents to safety. Me and my daughters and my wife and my brother were on top of on top of roof. Yeah, you can imagine. Um, from morning to till 11 p.m. In the city's poor neighborhoods, the high water had devastating effects. Material used to build shelters washed away by the floods. Our people are suffering. Authorities are warning residents of heavy to very heavy rainfall, made worse by an El Nino weather pattern all the way until May. With rain and thunderstorms forecast to continue. In the aftermath of last week's record-breaking rains that caused widespread flooding in the United Arab Emirates, the government has taken decisive action to address the damages. Prime Minister Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum announced a substantial allocation of $554 million to repair the homes of Emirati families affected by the deluge. This move comes after the unprecedented rainfall brought the Gulf state to a standstill, transforming streets into rivers and disrupting daily life. Reflecting on the challenges posed by the severe weather, Sheikh Mohammed emphasized the importance of learning from this experience. He noted that the cabinet approved an additional fund of 2 billion dirhams to address the damage to citizens' homes, underscoring the government's commitment to supporting its people during difficult times. In response to the crisis, a ministerial committee has been tasked with overseeing the distribution of compensation in collaboration with federal and local authorities. Another committee has been formed to assess infrastructure damage and propose solutions to mitigate future risks. Despite the severity of the storm, Sheikh Mohammed expressed confidence in the resilience of the country, highlighting the UAE's ability to learn and adapt from such experiences. He acknowledged the unprecedented nature of the situation, but 44 rivers in the Pearl River Basin have exceeded the warning line, posing a threat of bursting their banks, as reported by state broadcaster CCTV.
heavy rainfall wreaked havoc in southern China over the weekend, causing extensive flooding of homes, streets, and farmland. Tens of millions of people are at risk as you can see some people actually even their food was uh, destroyed and a lot of destruction has been taking place and uh, rescue efforts have been uh, going on this morning one kid has just uh, been found dead down the stream and it's just been devastating the last few days how is the government uh, dealing with this emergency felix Do, does the government have the resources it needs to cope with this and help the people Uh, there has been a multi-agency response team uh, by the government, Red Cross, and all of them are going on with rescue efforts. Yesterday, uh, President William Ruto convened a meeting with all...